Hello guys, it's me back again. Today, we are going to be playing the Super Nintendo Super Metroid. I'm warning you before we play this, I'm not an expert at this game. I haven't even beat it yet. Uh, one game I am really good at though, if you want, really, really want me to do a Let's Play on, Metroid 2. Um, just killing the Metroids overall in that game is pretty easy. And so is the Queen Metroid. Very, very easy. Um, so yeah. If you feel that I, sh I just really need to do that for you guys because I'm a lot better at it. Feel free. I mean, we gotta have at least like 30 people say that. Okay guys, because it's really hard to do it on my, my DS. To record through my DS. So, um, yeah, just do this one, yeah, and I'm not going to be doing 100% Let's Plays, I'm just always going to be kind of careful, because there might be, like, stuff, but, Last Metroid is in captivity, the galaxy is at peace, probably can't hear that, let me turn that up for you. I first battled the Metroids on planet Zebus. It was there that I foiled the plans of the space pirate leader, Mother Brain, to use the creatures to attack the Lackey civilization. Bit of a <coughs> tongue twister. I would hate to have to, you know, do that over again. I next fought the Metroids on their homeworld, SR388, which is Metroid 2. I completely eradicated them except for one for our larva, which after hatching followed me like a confused child. This is what happens at the very end of the game. This baby Metroid doesn't realize that Queen, since the Queen Metroid is dead, then it's, so yeah. I personally delivered it to the Galactic Research, to Galactic Research Station at series so scientists could study its energy producing qualities qualities oh dude i was watching some youtubers and they can't even read half of the words in this game number 11 the scientists findings were astounding they discovered that the powers of the metroid might be harnessed for the good of civilization see they probably wouldn't be able to read civilization i don't know what what YouTuber was. He had an accent too. Satisfied that all was well, I left the station to seek a new bounty to hunt. But I had hardly gone beyond the asteroid belt when I picked up a distress signal. Siri station was under attack. Dun, 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 dun. No, sorry, not yet, not yet. Sorry. There's not very many cutscenes in this game at all, really. Okay, I don't care about the space colony. Dude, this colony sucks. Thank you very much. Okay, here we go. So, this is kind of what it's like. Um, I'm playing on my Wii. Uh, you probably already know that. Um, so, controls. First of all, you switch direction with the joystick. Um, shooting with A, jumping, uh, sorry, not shooting with A, jumping with A, shooting with X. Uh, if you press, if you want to switch to your missiles, you press Z, and I'm playing a GameCube controller right now. You press the Z button on the top, that switch to your missiles and all the other things, and then you press Y if you're, like, at super missiles and you don't want to go through the rest of it, you just press Y to deselect. And if you hold B while running, you can sprint and use the speed booster. Um, L points, uh, okay, so, A, B, X, Y, uh, joystick, R is to point up, L is to point down, so, yeah, that's, that's most of the controls, really, that's basically everything, so, um, this game, Metroid, if you haven't already played it, is, uh, I'm just telling you now, the person we're playing as is not Metroid, it's Samus. 
when I was little, like, uh, seven, I'm 11 right now, but when I was seven, I used to think that, uh, the person you play as, which is also a girl, I, I don't really want to spo spoil you that, but once I die, yeah, you will tell it's a girl, but, you did, boy, you did, oh, you did, it's on, it's on, boy, ugh, man, taking damage, by the way, you are not required to win, win this battle. Either you, well, you can d win in this battle, and then Metroid, will, uh, sorry, not Metroid, uh, Ridley, which is who we're finding, will run away, because he is a scary cat, and, yeah, but once you get under 25 HP, he'll just run away, and he can't do damage to you when you're doing that, and you can't take any more damage until you get to the planet. So basically, you have to get out of here in a minute, which should be doable pretty easily, Usually takes me about 30 seconds to get out of here because there are like little puffs of gas that kind of come out of places and it's really annoying because they can stop you in your track. Like see right there? I'm not taking any damage from it, but it's kind of stopping me and hindering me. So, um, as you can see, it's already almost been 20 seconds and we're already to this part, which is like the very start. You can wall jump in this game, it's something people use a lot, but you have to be good at it. Okay, that was 25 seconds, but um, anyway, you have to be good at wall jumping to actually do the wall jumping, because you, it's, you gotta be skilled, and I wasn't skilled until I started playing with my dad one day, and, I, and that, when I was playing with my dad, I was just killer at wall jumping, it was just, I don't know, I don't know, I, I think, I think since my dad played all three of these, uh, one, two, and Super Metroid 3, uh, which is the, what we're playing right now, the third, so he's played all of those, and, so, yeah, well, I don't, he hasn't defeat. he hasn't, uh, beaten Metroid 2, but I did it today, actually, the day I'm recording this, so, yeah, okay. So, we're just gonna, um, we're gonna kinda get going here. That's the door, you shoot it, it's open. Got it? Better. Okay, I saw some stuff. Yeah. If you wanna kinda make some, like, kind of what looks like action out of this game, you can use the right and left triggers to kinda make it look cool, like, because if you've played Metroid Prime, you know how Samus kind of looks around every once in a while. Um, to kind of make sure everything's safe. Um, that is a door we can't open. That is a door we can open, but unfortunately, we, we can't, we're not that small, man. It's just, we're just not that small. Sorry, we're not that small. We will be able to get through there at one point. No, it's not the boot attachment thing, whatever you want to call something where you can crawl. But I'm not going to spoil any power-ups anymore on the phone. So, yeah. Oh. There's actually something really funny about, um, so as you can see, this is from Metroid 1. Actually, this planet is from Metroid 1 overall. This is where you kill, uh, Mother Brain, as you can see, and it looks completely, completely barren. I know, right? Um, uh, but yeah. So you just kind of keep going. You, you kind of ignore, <laughs> kind of ignore it. Here's an elevator. You can just press down. My dad's taking a nap right now, it's funny. I'm in my room. <laughs> you know the nunchuck connector to, uh, that connects to the Wii remote? Which, I'm not using one right now, but, you know, you know that? I used to think it, I used to play with it as, like, a snake and have, like, my little, my little Lego guys as, like, um, like a Metroid character or something. Like, either Samus or somebody. So, yeah. The, this game is 
very interesting, actually. Oh, by the way, um, this is called Morph Ball, if you didn't read the thing. Uh, we will be getting bombs for it, but right now, I'm sorry, but we're getting some missiles on the phone. Sorry, that's kind of my catchphrase, on the phone. On the phone. So, uh, yeah, just gonna make sure there's... Oh, wait, I can't use the bombs. So, that means there's probably nothing in there since I can't use the bombs. And as you can see on the top right corner, there is a mini-map. That is very useful in many occasions. Sorry, I just had to do that. By the way, when those things come back, it, it can hurt you. Or, I'm pretty sure, or that's just, you know, Metroid 2 bugs. And as you can see, you come back here, you get missile expansion. It just says missile, but it's a missile expansion, guys. So, I'm pretty sh yeah, you can't get to that one or any others without getting the ones down there because that's the only one where it's not protected by anything you get without any other power-up except for your morphing balls. So, yeah. And if you look at these, uh, you want to, if, uh, just look at the faces, look at the faces uh, next to the, you know, the right up there. That face up there. Yeah, just just watch that when we're going up the elevator. Dun, dun, dun. As you can see, their face is turned. I, I just love watching it. It feels totally messed up. And as you can see, the background is like, it's all lit up now. It's like, whoa. God, Sam is ugly. Whoa. So, What's up? Something's going down. Holy crap, the space pirates! So, yeah. You were just ambushed by the space pirates on the phone. So, um. As you can see, you just. They're very easy to kill. Um. If you know how to kill space pirates. Dang it. Okay. Um. Sorry. I know there's a way to do it. Okay, next time we um, come down here with bombs. Bombs. Bombsies. On the phone, we are gonna kind of blast our way through down there. I was gonna say on the way back, we could like get through there. Um, because I thought we were gonna get bombs over there, but I I was mistaken. I know where we're gonna get bombs now, but I, I kind of forgot that you have to come back down here to get that. So there's a missile expansion down there too. I'm I'm not gonna be real secretive about where the missile expansions are and then show them to you because you know what I'm gonna find them. I'm gonna find like a uh, about fifty no, five times. I'm gonna find about twenty of them at least. Uh, because 20 times 5 is 100, and usually at the end, uh, by Ridley at least, I have about 100, because I'm not really that good on looking for missiles, so, yeah, let's see what's up here, pretty sure I need the bomb bees, yes I do, I need the bombs, um, if I do it, bees, It takes five uh, missiles to get through there, and if you've played Zero Mission, I know the red ones, they only take about, um, they only take one, and so don't, don't, um, don't, uh, like if you're using, um, a ROM, if you're playing this on ROM, don't worry, nothing is, like, broken, because I know in Zero Mission, uh, the ball, the red hatches are like one 
one missile and it's open. And that's kind of retarded because, you know, you should have to give up a little bit more. And if you press the right trigger while you're doing that, you can go here. Really, there's nothing new about our suit overall except for the morphing ball. Which is actually called Morph Ball in, in the newer games, but nobody really cares. Because we all know what it means. I actually thought it was a different power up at the start. I mean, I guess it is, because in Prime, the ball just doesn't just continually spin. Like, here, you probably can see. The, the ball just doesn't continually spin like it is. It just sit, kind of sits there, so... Here, one second. That should be better. Oh. There. That's as good as I can get it. You won't be able to see any of the mini-map or anything. Okay, what do you want for dinner, Dad? Turn this on. Huh. Whatever, I'll be right out. I, I got it. Okay. So, um, that's probably it for this episode on the phone. But, uh, yeah. Is the safe station right here? No, I'll see you guys later. Cause, no, I'll see you guys later on the phone.